trying to tell y'all. Hey y'all, I'm Bike Baker. I'm Bike. Just cooking with Tip, y'all. And if you saw my live last week, cooking for my for Miss Kathleen, I had did a chicken pot pie. Y'all requested that I do a video on chicken pot pie. So that's what cooking with Tip bringing to y'all today. It's her version of her homemade uh, chicken pot pie, baby. That's what I have for you. Boom, boom, shots fire, baby. So we're gonna get right into this video of the chicken pot pie y'all so i have me some this is like three four no four chicken breasts that i already cut up diced up y'all i have one large potato russet potato that i cut up and put in water to keep it from turning brown and stuff okay i got a half an onion and a half a bell pepper that i've already diced up as well trying to cut a little time y'all I got some minced garlic that I'm gonna add to it. I got my heavy cream. Get some heavy cream, okay? Heavy cream. And this is just the uh, Winnixie brand. So it ain't got to be the Lando Lex unless you want to be all bougie. I got me some flour, some butter, my seasoning, which I'm gonna put onion powder, complete seasoning, garlic powder, black pepper, and a little bit of white salt. No, I ain't put no tonis in my um pot pie, y'all. Sorry, no tonis today. But y'all know I love my tonis, baby. My tonis, yes, sir. Hey! Now, when it comes to your vegetables, again, I, I like mine with potato, corn, and I got to make sure the baby golden white corn that's already pre thawed I like to use green beans, but I thought I had some, but I didn't, so... I'm gonna um, put some peas and carrots in it. So it'll be peas and carrots, corn and potatoes, the vegetables that I'm adding in it. I got my deep dish pie shell crust that is thawed. You gotta have them thawed. And then we'll put them in the oven like five minutes and let them poof. Well, the bottom, y'all will see when I go making it in a half. But yes, this is what I, is my version of my chicken pot pie. So let me get my, my um, frying pan on over here, y'all. First thing we gonna do is I'ma cook up my chicken with the onion and bell pepper and garlic, mixed garlic, and some seasoning. That's the first step we gonna do. So let me get this right here. Put this over here. All right, y'all. So what I'm doing, I got some, put a little vegetable oil in my frying pan here, y'all. Cause what I'm finna do is take the Onion and bell pepper, saute it a little bit, add the chicken and some seasoning. Oh, and I gotta put the mixed garlic in, okay? So that's what we're doing first. So again, I got a half a bell pepper and a half of onion right here. That's what we're doing first. So I hope everybody is doing well, blessed, and highly favored, such as myself, y'all. I love y'all. I miss y'all. You know? So, yes. This is what we're doing, boo. Get the onions and bell peppers going. Get all this flavor in the chicken. So, again, y'all, what I'm doing right now is just sauteing. Some onion and bell pepper and a little vegetable oil. Oh, is the fragrance coming off here? So cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just want this flavor to kick off in that chicken, y'all. You heard me? Yes, ma'am, baby. And y'all check this out with Miss Tilt when it did. And I, again, if y'all looked at my live and requested this uh, chicken pot pie that I did last week, I was. No, actually it was my live this week. Yesterday, day before yesterday. Anyhow, y'all, I'm setting up their GoFundMe account for 20K to work towards me getting my food truck called Cooking With Tilt, Stuff, Burgers, and Things. Boom, y'all, baby. It's on and popping, boo. And again, like I told y'all before, oh, the cookbook in the, in the makings, yes. We getting it together, baby. I got some stuff and stuff for y'all. So, I'm finna add some of this mixed garlic. Look y'all, that's a tablespoon of garlic right there. 
Y'all know me, I don't match nothing. So you know what, I always tell you, I give you the justice in the basis of what I'm doing. And y'all can twerk it, work it how y'all wanna do it, baby. But cooking with tip never say wrong. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, baby. I'm getting it together. Holidays coming up, y'all. And baby, we gonna get it. We gonna get it. Okay, so that's right why I wanted that, y'all. We finna go on and add this little chicken. Boom. Like I said, this was like four uh, chicken breasts cut up. Washed and cleaned and cut up. So we're going to add that to that. Okay. Just going to tear this off. You know. And I'm going to add some seasoning to this, y'all. And like, again, you season to your own what? Taste. I'ma say it again, y'all. Season to your own what? Taste. Boom. So this is my onion powder. Garlic powder. Nope. Is it onion? Onion powder. Onion powder. Let me stay in my business. My <laughs> <laughs> No, no, you got you good. I'm all in your business. <laughs> now we're gonna do the garlic powder. <laughs> Now we got some complete seasoning. If y'all ain't never used complete seasoning, please get it. It is good to have. That's my favorite. Oh, y'all hear Leah Love? Complete seasoning is her favorite, baby. Yes. And this got garlic and onion and um, like lemon uh, powder, just all kind of uh, stuff. And it's good on fish and poultry, all kind of stuff, y'all. And again, season to your own taste. My seasoning be looking heavy, y'all, but it my food be on point. It be on point. Some people be like, ooh, all that seasoning, hot tight, da 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 uh uh boo. That's why I say season to your own taste. The season to your own taste. Put my little black cap off of here. Okay, and a little bit of salt, y'all, or you can use seasoning salt or whatever uh, salt you want, it don't matter. I'm just putting a little white salt. That's a too clean, this one. Make safe good, 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 good love. Hey y'all, you know I love feeding people in cookie cups. I feel like a good old um dish of food that's food you, that's just feeding your soul, baby. It made when you feel good, good and full and happy, baby. It made oh your day be so great. Good food to put a smile on anybody's face. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Hey. We're just trying to get this chicken done enough. It can still be a little bit pink in the center, just a little bit. Because we're going to be cooking fish, cooking it inside the pot pie in the oven. But you want to get this mainly done. But if it just got a little bit, you're fine because it's going to continue to cook in the oven. But you don't want to do it raw you don't want to do that i always talk to cook it on cook it like this separate first and then you add it in now but if you want that chicken to be good and moist and stuff cook it all just about all the way done just a little bit of where just a little bit because you know we're working with poultry here okay y'all hear me y'all got that that way i want it to keep some of the juices in and stuff but yes, ma'am. 
And if you want to use different color bell peppers, you can. I just used green today, but I think at Kathleen I had green, red, and yellow. But it's green and yellow. Mm hmm. Cook your chicken. Okay. Now we're going to set this to the side. Because this is where I want it to be. I'm going to move this pot over here on my hot eye. Put that chicken right there. Y'all see that? Yeah, boom. Yes. Okay. Over here in this pot, I got me some butter, some flour, and my heavy cream. What we making? A good old roux. I'm gonna make a roux with the uh, flour and the butter and the heavy cream, and that's gonna be the sauce inside your pot pie. Okay. So I got some butter in there, y'all. Melt now. I'm gonna add me a little flour. That's probably about two tablespoons, two and a half tablespoons. And we're gonna brown this here. I ain't scraping my pan anymore. Let me use something else. cream off in now add a little more seasoning then add the chicken and the veggies and then we'll go from now baby quick and simple hearty hearty to your stomach you're cheering your husband your mama your sister cousin brother granddaddy everybody loves chicken pot pie baby and again with these veggies you can put whatever you want to put in them okay okay so that number brown i'm gonna go ahead and add the heavy cream Just slowly the pour it in and stir. That's your cream sauce, your base of your pot pie, y'all. Continue to get thick. I'm gonna add a little more cream to it. seasoning I already used it on the chicken. You're going to add it to your sauce. Only difference is I'm going to add a little um, thyme, dry thyme to this stuff. And like I always tell y'all, season to your own taste, okay? Season to your own taste. Okay, a little bit of dry thyme. I think thyme pair good with chicken, y'all. And just a little pinch of thyme and not much, just a little pinch. There you go. Cause thyme will get very overpowering, so just a pinch of it. Okay. 
Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add my potatoes. And like I said, this was just one large potato cut up, russet potato, okay? Mm-hmm. Look like clam chowder. <laughs> yeah, and actually this is the, if only thing you gotta add in here now is the clams for that. But you know what, next video it'll be on the baby. Uh-huh, that's exactly, you, you right, you call that. I'm gonna go ahead and add this chicken. Gonna be so good and flavorful for y'all. And those potatoes was raw. They will bake in the oven and get done. That's why they chopped down. Yes. Don't that look good already? Y'all see it. Let's brighten it up with some color though. Let's brighten it up with a little color. So I'm gonna add my corn, peas and carrots, y'all. Yeah, how much you want to it. So I got potatoes, corn, peas and carrots. It's the vegetables in my pot pie. Marie Callan ain't got nothing on cooking with tilt. Y'all know how everybody go get that Marie Callan pot pies and stuff. She ain't got nothing with, on cooking with tilt. So the filling is done. I'm gonna just put my lid on it and let it just simmer on low real quick. Cause what I'm gonna do is take my two deep dish pie shells and I'm gonna I'm put it in the oven for like five minutes just to let the bottom of the crust poof. That'll make sure your bottom of your crust gets really done. So again, we put them in here for like, I'm gonna say no, not five minutes, two to three minutes and let them just enough to poof up at the bottom, okay? Then we gonna add the filling. Then I got two more uh, pie shells that I'm gonna top it with. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for two to three minutes. Then we'll come back and fill them, put the top shell on them and bake them. Okay, y'all, so I put it in there for two to three minutes. As y'all can see the sides and the bottom, y'all see how it was poofing up and stuff. That's just to guarantee that your crust get real good and done. Now, some people can bake a sweet potato pie or a pot pie and that bottom be like gel crust. That's because they ain't bake the crust first, okay? But that's all you need, two to three minutes and I let it poof up and then you add your filling, okay? So, that's what I'm gonna do. Boom, there you go. Excuse me. Thank you, Leo Love. You know I gotta have it leaving it running. And Last but not least, we're gonna put our top cover on these pies. Y'all see that? Just fill them up. Then what I do, y'all, got another two more shells that I just pop out. And they fall. Be gentle, cause you don't wanna break them up. Cause they will split and tear like this we're trying to do. Just go 
go around them first. Each side. Pull these sides up. Then try to get them out the pan as easily as you can. Voila. And then I just lay it over it. And then press in my sides. Ain't that's more easier than making your own dough and stuff. Now, if you want that roll out dough, you can, but I don't really like the flavor. I like the flavor. That the flavor is different than the pie shells. That's why I use pie shells. Or if you that real homemaker and want to make your own dough, so be it. But me, as long as they making these pie crusts, I'm going to be using it, okay? And they ain't all going to be great, as you can see. Some of my edges fell off, but it's okay. We still just press it in and keep it moving. Again, go around your sides. Try to lift it. Flip it. And as you can see, that part, bring it down. There you go. And then you just slightly press them in. You got to be all perfect, but as you can see, there you go. And then we're going to bake these at 400 degrees for 30 minutes until your top is golden brown, but mainly like 30 to 40 minutes, y'all, okay? That's all you need. Also, make sure you take your little knife. What I like to do, which I'm going to put some more. Let me see if I can spread it a little bit while it's soft. Take the butter. And I like put. Well, what I'm going to do is bake it. And then at the last... 10 minutes, put some butter on it, and put it back in the oven, okay? Y'all will see me. I was going to try to put a little bit on before I put it in there, but we'll wait. Just make sure your sides are good, y'all. Take a knife, put your hole in the middle. Just bend, put a little slash in the middle so I can vent. Okay. Hey y'all, I'm back, baby. Now let me tell y'all, I bake these in the oven for again, 30 to 40 minutes or 400 degrees. Okay, I had took them out, buttered them, so let them cool. So now we're finna cut them so you can see what you work with. But these are this tilt cooking, cooking with tilt. What it is y'all, chicken pot pie. Y'all already know. So let's cut into this hill and see what we're working with. I hope I let it cool enough. Okay, now we're right there. Go. Y'all see it. And make sure y'all butter on y'all. Just it just make that crust even more suckling. Uh, whatever you want to say. And it's hot, so I know as soon as I heat it up, it's gonna be crumbling up, y'all. Put a little bowl right here. Oh, snap. Come on up. Come on up. Ooh. I should have put it on the plate. But y'all see that? Look at that crust on now. Look at the peas and carrots in there, y'all. Y'all see that chicken pot pie. So, 
Y'all remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Cooking with Tilt Baby. Y'all go ahead and support me on my GoFundMe account. I'm trying to work on getting that uh, 20K up and get me a food truck, y'all. It's all about cooking with tilt, stuffed burgers, and things. Until next time, baby. Boom!